Hey guys, this is Dapsin Ishmael. In this tutorial, let's take a look at how to configure your website to be able to change the address bar on your mobile devices. To show you what I mean, I'm going to go ahead to visit dapsinishmael.com on my mobile phone. And then once I visit the site, you realize that this section of the address bar actually changes to the color to fit or um, suit the website. Now, this is not just here. Let me just try a different website I worked on as well, which also has the same thing. So that is going to change the color to this. And then let me just go ahead and then open up this website. Um, so this one. And as you can see, it has also changed to yellow at the top there. So you realize that um, this actually uh, matches up the color theme of the website and it makes your website look very cool. So I'm going to go ahead to show you how to do this. So in your WYSIWYG web builder, all you need to do is, um, for instance, if you come to your master page and let's say you have a, um, if you come to your site manager and then you have a master page set in here. So let me just change this to master page. So I'm using this to serve as my master page. And then I'm going to go ahead to have an index page. Let me just make this my index page. So let me just go ahead and then rename this to index. And then what I'm going to do next is because I'm going to use this to serve as my master page, and this is going to um, more or less be applied to all the individual pages. It is best for me to implement what I have to do on this particular page. So all I need to do is to copy a code. So this is actually the code. It's going to be made available in the comment section of um, this particular um, video. So you can get to download it and then be able to use it. So let me just go ahead and then imp implement that here. So when you come to this page, all you have to do is to come to the page HTML. And then you're going to go ahead and head to the head that is in between the head tag. So I'm going to come here and then I'm going to paste the code in here. So let me just go ahead and explain what the code is actually doing. So this is a meta tag information, which is being added to the code. Now this is theme color of the browser. So that's why you have theme color in here. And this particular section is where you specify the hexadecimal color of your, uh, maybe the color that you probably would want to use uh, for the address bar change. So this is where you specify that color. And then you realize that there's other section of codes in here. So this is for Chrome. The first line of code is for Chrome. The second and third line of code is for um, Safari. That is on your mobile device. And then the last one is for Windows. So this is also go. You are supposed to change this particular hexadecimal code to suit your color. So you do that for all of them. And once you're done, you go ahead and then click on OK. So because I only implemented this on the master page, I haven't already set this to um, select that as my master page. Let me just go ahead and then select that. So by default, it means that whatever is going to take effect here is going to happen here because I have set this to be my master page. Now, because I'm on local system and I'm not um, on the internet, I'll be able to publish to take a look at this particular project. But all you have to do is after implementing that, you go ahead and then publish the page and then you go ahead and preview it in your browser. That's on your mobile device to see if the change has taken effect. So that is basically it. But before I go, let me show you another way you can also implement this. In case you don't want to use the master page approach, all you have to do is to come to page. And then on that page, you come to site HTML where you paste the code in your header and between your header tags. That is going to affect the entire pages. Now, one reason why you probably may not want to use this is because after doing this, if you go ahead to implement new pages, it means it's not going to take the effect of this. That's why it's always best to use the master page so that whichever page you may add, Considering it's selecting this as the master page, it goes ahead to take that particular effect. So basically, that's just about it for this tutorial. In case you are new, kindly hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Dapsin Ishmael. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.